Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back, y'all. I am truly excited. Can't you tell by the sound in my voice? That's because we are going over the Meatloaf Lovers Ultimate Meatloaf Recipe, y'all. And on this channel, the food is always the star. As I've always said, y'all, if it's something that I miss or something you want to see, let us know so we can add it to the playlist. And this was added to the playlist. And I want to thank you for requesting the meatloaf. And you know who you are. Thank you so much. Yes, that's what we do over here, y'all. Y'all not just subscribers, y'all family. So I added some Italian herb base in there. I'm adding roasted garlic seasoning in there too, y'all. You've seen me use beef base before, right? But we use an Italian herb because we want that flavor. That's paprika, Montreal steak seasoning I'm throwing in there. That Tony Saturates right there has no salt. So it's great for my client that I'm cooking this meatloaf for, y'all. That's garlic powder. And this is gluten-free meatloaf. Can you believe it? No breadcrumbs, no flour. That was cornstarch I put in there, y'all. I'm going to cut up some tomatoes. Yeah, y'all. We have mirepoix in there too already. Add whatever veggies you like, y'all. Add a touch of the sauce that you're going to be coating that meatloaf in. Put a touch of that inside there, y'all. Tip. Spray your hands down, too. If you spray your hands down, you'll get less of that product to stick to your hands when you're mixing up that meatloaf. Oh, yeah. Now, we have to make sure we mix it in good. We mix it in well. It has to be, y'all. And I want to say, y'all, thank y'all. Y'all have been truly, truly supportive of me and my family, y'all. My son has gone through a lot this year. But... Y'all have supported me and helped me through it, y'all. So I want to say thank y'all as I mix up this meatloaf mix. Because it's going to be phenomenal. Yes, it truly, truly, truly it is, y'all. Now, after we get that mixed up, we want to spray this pan down. Then we're going to lay out that meatloaf, y'all. Spray the pan down. Some people don't. And they feel they don't because the meatloaf will produce its own natural uh, oils or fats. But go ahead and spray it down to be on the safe side, y'all. Just a touch. You see the question? What's your favorite comfort food? Y'all, I truly don't have one. It might sound funny, but I really don't. I'm so, so busy cooking for other people that I don't have a comfort food of my own. But I love uh, uh, all sorts of food. I love cream pastas. I love oxtails. I love collard greens, cornbread. I love pizza. I love uh, a salmon. I love everything, y'all. That's what being a chef's about. Now, look at this meatloaf, y'all. We got all the edges and it's smooth. This flat. We don't want any cracks or crevices in the meatloaf. Spray the top of the meatloaf down and then smooth it out. Because if you spray the top of it down and smooth it out, it can actually help you build that coat, that texture. What am I? What's that? Okay, y'all. Now, it's about time to drain off that excess fat of that meatloaf now i let the meatloaf cook in the oven for about what mm, 35 minutes at 325 and then i got ready to pull the meatloaf out to drain off this excess fat now i want to drain it off but i need a dish that's about the same size and luckily i have another one of the same exact pans that i'm using here if you don't and you have a sheet tray use your sheet tray because we don't want all of that we don't need this we don't need this in our digestive system no no our body don't like that it looks so much better when it's strained or you drain off all that excess liquids and fat now you see how it's holding too that's cornstarch no breadcrumbs y'all this is a chef's best friend the thermometer. Now, if you put the thermometer in there halfway, you are on point. Now, this temperature is actually the temperature I'm looking for. About 135, 136, 138, somewhere in that range. Because now I'm adding the sauce. And I'm going to let the meatloaf finish in the oven, y'all. This meatloaf took about 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes to cook. Depending on how fast you want to cook it, y'all. Because you can get it done faster, y'all. But this meatloaf took me about an hour to, to cook. Because I cooked it at 325 convection. And then I cut it up to 350 convection, which equals 375. Now, if you press the thermometer all the way down, 
You saw that earlier reading with, at 180. So that's why you don't want to press it all the way down. You want to rest about 178. That chicken look good. I should do a video on skinless chicken. That ain't got no skin on there. That chicken ain't got no skin. No skin is on that chicken, y'all. Mm. But back to this meatloaf, y'all. Hoo-hoo-wee. That look good now. Now, you see how it held with cornstarch. Now, isn't that phenomenal? Isn't that something? No breadcrumb. One egg. No flour, y'all. And cornstarch. And believe it or not, cornstarch actually does not take away from the flavor profile as much as flour does. Chefs tend to make their sauces with cornstarch and the reason they do that is because the sauce itself tastes better when it's made with cornstarch that's just a little tip and we can go over all sorts of sauces if you want to see me make a sauce let me know i'll add it to the playlist and we'll get it going i want to say thank y'all and be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next side but take a look at that meatloaf with them collard greens this is what my client wanted so this is what my client gets we added a little bit of parmesan cheese on top of that meatloaf after it was done the sauce is hot the sauce is going to go ahead and melt that too as well so again thank y'all for tuning in and thank y'all truly 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 for your support it means a lot with everything that we have going on Food is always the star on this channel. And I want to make something for you. Even if you know how to make it, it's no problem. Allow me to make it for you.